Take 23. <laughs> Welcome oh. to the podcast that we don't know anything about but are learning on the fly. Yeah, go for it. Welcome to our podcast. Well, that, I mean, there's three of us watching it, and the two of them are me and Paul. <laughs> <laughs> the other one is Seth. <laughs> Man, don't forget, Rustin, there's four people here. He's filming. So am I. <laughs> yeah, he's not watching, he's listening. <laughs> so my name is Paul. You've probably talked to me on tech support, or sales, or returns, or warranties, or Facebook. Facebook. Probably not Instagram, but <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Somebody has talked to me somewhere. I probably that's me. Bought one of your trucks. <laughs> so I was cruising Facebook Marketplace yesterday, and I found three trucks that I've sold back for sale again. That's fantastic. Is that a good thing though? That they're back for sale? I think the a- I think the best thing ever is to be searching on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist and find something that's like CP attic tail lights. Like, mm-hmm. yes. Or bumper brackets, yes. or everything on this truck was modified by CP Addict. So, all right. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm Chris. That's Paul. You've probably talked to us in the past, um, or if seen you us will on YouTube. Soon. We're very famous there. Yeah, all five thousand subscribers. Fifty-seven hundred. Fifty-seven hundred. Fifty-seven hundred. Maybe maybe fifty-eight hundred by the time this goes. Fifty-seven oh one. I hope so. Are you going to be the one? Probably not. Unsubscribe, resubscribe. (laughs) Can we just do that a bunch of times and make the numbers go up? Unfortunately, no. Can we just start a bunch of emails and subscribe to them? (laughs) Just create a thousand different YouTube channels. Yeah, just start following. That's fantastic. We sell truck parts and truck part accessories. Hi, my name is Hank Hill. (laughs) Yeah, we um we specialize in eighty to ninety seven Ford trucks and Broncos, um, and not making very good jokes on podcasts. That's uh, pretty much our specialties. Uh-huh. Really good on the last part. Yeah, yeah. Pretty good on the first part. Yeah, we do okay. Hey, this is the world's most famous OBS podcast. It well, there is one called OBS Talk, but they're Chevrolets. Well, I mean, they've always been retarded, oh, so. <laughs> I mean, they've always been in second place. Ford was first, and then Chevrolet came out after that, and so. there's the target on our back <laughs> Dang it. I can see C10 talk talking about us already. <laughs> so, we started the company um, two, three years ago, something like that. We've been around for about 11 years now. Well, we started working on these. Well, we started the the uh, CPA website two, three years ago. Yes, 2018. 18. We started our first one in 17 that didn't do crap, and then we started a second one in 18. I came in 18. Can I take credit for the second one? You'll have to because the first one didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you farm work out. Mm, 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 mm. So... Anything worth doing is worth doing yourself. So what we did was we farmed work out and it didn't work, so we hired a farmer to work. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's... We, it's debatable as whether we're getting any work or not, but at least he's still in the room. <laughs> drags, <laughs> drags his feet on everything he does. Oof. I'm so, I so hope he edits that part out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, we started as, as I... Uh, uh, purposely interrupted you there a second ago. We started working on trucks in 2009. Yeah. Professionally. Professionally. You know what the definition of professionally is, right? Mm-hmm. If somebody does it for a living. <laughs> Doesn't mean they're good. But yeah, so we uh, like we, we did that for what, until 18? We closed the shop down in 18 and started in I don't know what's on the door right there. November something. November, yeah, 2018. That's when we closed up from working on stuff and just doing, and that was because we couldn't keep up with both at the same time. Yeah, they were both going uh, pretty fast, and we just genuinely like strictly OBS stuff. So that's the the direction we went. We moved strictly into uh, into <clears throat> doing online sales in 2018, and that's kind of where we we took off in what we really like to do. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a. Uh, 
that's bull nose, brick nose, and OBS trucks. Um, and for those people that are listening to this that have no idea what I just said, that's 1980 to 1997 Ford F Series and Broncos. Well, let's 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 break it down a little bit. You got 80 to 86 is bull nose, 87 to 91 is brick nose, and then you got OBS from 92 to 97. Um, so we we started doing that with the. Uh, why did we let him on the show? Oh, no. <laughs> he owns half the company. We didn't have a choice. <laughs> Something has to be entertaining around here. Yeah. So if we could just get serious for like five seconds and tell him at least what we're what we're doing here. We're so, trying to sell you. <laughs> <laughs> That's not wrong. That's not wrong. <laughs> Buy all of it from us. <sighs> You can't edit that out. That was way too good. That was way too oh good. I'm not entirely sure I know how to have this uh, podcast be serious. Well, you're the one who wrote all this shit out. I know, but I didn't read it. <laughs> <laughs> Says the guy that gave it to me at 3 o'clock. Here, we're going to shoot this at 5. What are we shooting? Seth, what are we supposed to be talking about? Man, I, I know. I know. I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah so, um, so anyway, anyway, basically what our main goals are with the business and what, when we... We went to strictly OBS, brick nose, bulldoze stuff was we wanted to people. I wish I had a nickel for every time somebody did that. We'd already retired. Yeah. So we, we wanted to create that one stop shop that allowed you to be able to uh, go to one place and buy everything you were looking for. If it was suspension parts, if it was engine parts, if it was uh, restoration parts, all of that stuff for keeping your truck tip top or restoring your truck or anything like that. We wanted to create that place. And we are a long ways from that at this point, but we're working very hard on it. We got the idea from a cartoon show that we watched growing up. We did? (laughs) Pinky and the Brain. Uh What are we going to do today, Brain? I was legitimately curious about that because I didn't know. Try and take over the world. So we've told them that we're a company based around older truck parts. We've got one bullet on this list of 12. (laughs) Are you still filming? (laughs) Because you need to. I just restarted. Oh, good, good. Yeah. Um, (laughs) Please ignore my grammar in that because it's it's really bad. (laughs) I wrote it today, yesterday. I are cool. (laughs) <laughs> you weren't supposed to read that part sorry that was the cliff notes <laughs> or the clifford notes or something <laughs> say hi to the camera hi to the camera <laughs> <Got two>. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good idea well, Seth. well 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 we still got one more bullet on that first line that we ain't got to yet <laughs> Providing best possible customer service. We ain't touched that yet. Well, we did, kind of. No. I mean, you did just now. Call in, order parts. <laughs> Call in, order parts from us. If you don't like them, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> you got to leave that in. If you don't like that, beep, beep. <laughs> bullet point four. What's bullet point four? We don't have one on that. That's, that's bullet point two. The, 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 that's that's this, bullet, pa- this paragraph I've two. I've been really loud in this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize it until I was <laughs> talking. <laughs> Acting like Shania Twain over this, there. This is either going to go really, really good, and we're going to get <clears throat> lots of ratings, or we're going to get nobody that watches it. Right. We're, or we're going to get lots of ratings on the first one, and you're like, this is really bad. I'm not watching anymore. <laughs> or no, they're going to be like, dude, this is like a train wreck. You get Choo <laughs> <laughs> choo. The whistle and diesel of podcasts. Oh, my God. <laughs> Not every one of these is going to be just us sitting here talking like a bunch of idiots. Most of them will, though. Most of them. What will our podcast cover? Mostly nothing that anybody cares about. <laughs> about an hour of your time. <laughs> <laughs> you have those desperate days where you just think that your life is in shambles, and then you listen to our podcast and realize you don't have it so bad. Yeah. <laughs> I could be like these idiots. So, yeah, the the ones that people are going to watch are the ones where we have guests on and the ones where we're talking about people in the industry. Otherwise, I don't think anybody's going to listen to the rest of them. Like, we'll just title them like, these are the ones you want to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Right. Does the camera make me look fat? <clears throat> no. I know it makes me look fat it's because I am fat. <laughs> <laughs> Diesels and donuts right there, brother. We have to bring donuts next time. And now a word from our sponsors. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure glad I wrote this down so that we could not follow it at all. Bullet point seven. We're going to take questions oh, from gosh. from our one viewer. That's probably Rustin. going. To... <laughs> <laughs> what questions do you have? <laughs> Why am I helping with this? <laughs> Wait a second. I'm not getting paid. <laughs> Eventually. We'll have two listeners. We have two right now. We only have one viewer because Rustin has his ass closed. <laughs> True. Eventually, we will have three listeners. That third person sent us a question and we'll answer it. So, podcasts. Um, most of them are going to be um, a lot like this. Way, way more serious. Way, <clears throat> way more serious. Basically, we're never going to get anywhere. Mm -mm. This is just going to be us talking about stupid stuff. Apparently. I think. So if you like OBS trucks, be sure and tune in. You never know that you'll probably never hear anything about OBS trucks. Maybe. Well, uh, that we sell parts, and that's about the only part that... Uh, and mm -hmm. accessories, which are kind of the, the same, same thing. thing. <laughs> depends, on, uh, depends on where you're at. So anyways, <clears throat> we try to innovate for these trucks and make new stuff every year. Serious note. Be very, very serious. And that's enough of that. <clears throat> All right, yeah. So, um, so let's let's cut. Let's actually cover the podcast at this point. Okay. The podcast is mostly going to be bantering back and forth, and um, I'm really seriously debating on a different host. Maybe me or maybe Paul. I don't know. But this is uh, this is is this going well? Do you think this is going well? I feel like we should have five listeners by now. I haven't, I haven't laughed as much in a while. <laughs> it's a lot funnier with your eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Oh, oh. <laughs> we'll probably slip some technical uh, parts about these trucks in there. Some of the more specific things like uh, maybe like build numbers and uh, some more of the specifics of these things that people actually want to know. Some Some stuff like what? Uh, commonly asked questions we get like you know what's the best way to lift my truck what's what's the best shocks to run um, how do I size my injectors for the job that I want to do does altitude make a difference on what turbo I get um, you know what what is going to be the best look for my truck I don't know whether I want to go black headlights or clear headlights or or what I want to do. So it's going to, it's going to have a lot of technical detail in it. It's not always going to be just bullshit us talking about. Um, There'll be like <clears> three <throat> lines of technical and the rest of it's just going to be BS. Nobody's going to listen to the technical stuff. They want to hear the BS, but um, we'll do a Q and a on here uh, as we get further along and actually, I actually do have listeners rather than just the two that are here tonight. Uh, for here tonight. I feel like this got really serious really fast. Well, and, and you know, if you have a, a guest that you want us to call an interview and, you know, or, or somebody. It would like, be cool to do like a suspension one or whatever and then like bring Trevor from PMF on at the, in the same show. That'd well, cool. well, and like, you know, some of the, the old school people that go, go back to when these trucks were, were in the diesel racing scene, we could do Zane from quote unquote wide open performance now at H and S performance in his truck. Um, that he is bringing back by the yeah. way. He said he would never bring a seven, three back. <clears throat> Guess what? Mm -hmm. He's got bringing back his OBS. Well, we can call like, uh, cool. Brian Jellick from jelly built, you know, and he can talk tuning <clears throat> with us and yeah. So one of our, one of the things that we're wanting to do is like kind of connect y'all with some of these industry leaders that we know that we, that we're friends with and allow y'all to be able to ask questions through us. Uh, instead of it, uh, you know, there's there's not a whole lot of opportunities to be able to talk to all of these people or to be able to see who these people are or, you know, hear them speak about how they got into it. So we wanted to kind of provide that. So learning from the industry leaders. Yeah. yeah well, yeah, that, that, see, 
We put the smart people off camera. Mm -hmm. There's a reason for that. Somebody had to run the damn thing. We're mm. smart, so we're not on the camera. <laughs> well, it, <laughs> Rustin's so smart, he's running his camera by Braille. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about like the different projects that we are doing or going to do and stuff like that. Yes, so we're going to bribe some of our friends to to come over and talk about their trucks, and what they do, and then like when we go to truck shows, we're going to try and you know fill you in on the truck shows and what we see and the the shenanigans. Yeah, so it's not always going to be industry leaders. It's uh, sometimes it will be people with trucks you know, um, like. Uh, um, People, yeah, like I guess uh, Dylan guess, Sink, Colt guess, Hadley, yeah, um, those people. Um, I feel like we made this sound like they weren't as important. But we're gonna bring them on anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know. <laughs> so we're gonna bring them on first, so the uh, so the industry leaders think this is cool to do. <laughs> now Dylan's not coming on. He's gonna be like, uh, uh-uh. I mean. If y'all think this is a shit show now, wait till Dylan's here. Oh gosh. So moving right along, we're we want to try to uh, since since we did run a mechanic shop and we have worked on these trucks uh, ourselves, and we think we know what we're talking about. Um, we're going to kind of go over some of these things that that like we want to we want to kind of educate too. We want to we want to what am I looking for? What's the right word here? We want to kind of teach people maybe how, some of the things to look at, at you know, if they got this problem with their truck, some more common issues with these things. Is this good? I feel like, um, yeah, this podcast is going to be like seven and a half minutes out of all like hour and a half worth of filming. Well, there's going to be lots of stuff we'll talk about. Probably not, no. <laughs> so... I mean, We'll talk about what everybody likes, guns and barbecue and trucks and stuff and things. All the things that get you banned from social media these days. I mean, that's right where we want to be. You ever talk about that? Oof. <laughs> we might. This is my podcast, damn it. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Again, while we have two viewers, Rustin opened his eyes. Hey! Nice to see you, Rustin. <laughs> When we started, there was no, there was no good place to buy OBS parts. You could buy some from this place and some from this place and some from this place, and it was very cumbersome to get things that you wanted. That and there was not a lot of stuff available, and so we saw a need in the market because a our trucks were broke down or needing parts, and we had to run around the world to try and get the parts. So we figured we'd put it all in one place that would be easy to find easy to deal with we wanted to have a good customer service you know somebody you could talk to uh multiple different ways to get to us you know phone email messenger instagram facebook so it would be easy for you to find what you needed and then we've also taken suggestions from customers that hey this isn't on the market maybe we maybe you should see if you can find somebody to make it or this this is something that we that I really need for my truck, but I can't find it, and so we make lists of stuff like that. And Focusing we, hard to innovate new products and things like that, like the door reinforcement plate, which was yeah. an awesome product that was brought uh, brought to the market by Solo Motorsports, mm -hmm. um, that we've brought in as a brand to be able to offer to our customers, just like um, we offer several different companies for suspension parts and different things like that. I did want to say something about uh, it's not just strictly OBSs. It's uh, um, we go all the way back to to the bullnose trucks, and eventually we'll probably uh, even go a little further retroactive. Just to most of it is to what we're trying to do is like solve problems for these mm -hmm. trucks. These uh, the, the real common things that that you just are like, mm, why why does this do like breaking a door handle in a '92 to '97 truck? The problem is almost always, always, always the cracked door skin. Mm -hmm. And everybody thinks, I just replaced the handle. Handle broke. I just replaced the handle. And I'll like, put the metal ones on. And like the yeah. 500th door handle you put in the truck, it's still not fixed. It's because it needs a door reinforcement plate. Yeah. Um, yeah. But we're, we're trying to, like he said, try and solve problems that have arisen over these trucks. Because, I mean, they're, they're 20 plus years old now. So there's... 
there's a ton of knickknack stuff that they need that for some people keeps them off the road because they're like, I got to roll down my window and open my door from the outside, or I need one little tiny piece to, to make this truck roadworthy. And you can scour the internet sometimes and not find it, but we're trying to bring that all into one place. So when you log in, you can, you can find it. If not, you can call us or, or whatever, or contact us, I guess I should say, and say, Hey, I'm looking for this part. And we may know where to get that part, or we may have uh, brought that part on. We just haven't got uh, it fully loaded to our site or something yet. And and we're trying to get that to where people can, I'm rambling here, but. Um, we're, the, we're, trying, we're trying to make it uh, as user friendly to be able to get your truck on the road or keep it on the road mm-hmm. or build it the way you want to build it. And it's a one-stop shop. You, you contact us and you, you don't have to, you don't have to go to five or six different places and try finding tracking numbers for all these parts and stuff like that. We we try to we try to provide uh, uh, second to none customer service and second to none in quality of parts. So you get the best overall experience. That's that's what we strive for. Obviously, it doesn't always happen. Everybody's human, so it is what it is. There, we we do everything that we can to like be better constantly uh, well, and, and that's that's been very apparent over the past several years uh, as far as as we grow well and, and we try and take <laughs> recommendations from our clientele because there's always places where we can improve where we think we're doing good and that's part of the some of this podcast is is to get improvement techniques from from our our listeners and and our our website users because the only way to get better is by progression and and what's the word i'm looking for here um uh not necessarily trial and error but um by just i guess doing it i, I don't know what the word i'm looking for is here i'm i'm struggling guys help help me <laughs> yeah well what uh at the, at the end of the day part of this is uh uh in us saying that we're that we're striving to provide this utmost customer service we we don't just mean you know getting us on the phone or we don't just mean emails or messaging or whatever we mean trying to educate our customers more on uh like the better the best products to get or have some of the the more technical issues with these trucks that uh that they may not have even realized was a problem until now you know i mean like this thing has been doing this and i just don't know why but we know why we just don't know how to like in that one of the reasons we're doing this is to kind of get that information out there and, and to pr- provide that as a part of a service as well. Well, and at the end of the day too, we get a lot of phone calls of people that call in. They, they want to do X, Y, and Z to their truck, but those things don't mix. And sure, we can sell them those parts. Hell, I mean, that's making money. Let's just sell it. But selling somebody a part that doesn't work for their application or their needs is is not the way to to be and there's too many companies that just sell you what you call in for and what we are striving to do is is have a team well enough educated and put together educated well enough yeah that too um that are went to schools no um public school for you ladies and gentlemen but uh that (laughs) when you call in and you tell them what what you're wanting to do and about your truck that maybe necessarily that you don't need all three of those parts. You only need two of those parts. A, it'll save you some money. B, your truck's going to perform better or ride better or look better, et cetera, et cetera, with that knowledge base versus just somebody selling you something in the end to, to get your dollar out of your pocket. We want you to get the most bang for your buck and be happy with your truck in the end and be excited to show somebody your truck and what you've done and what you've accomplished because at the end of the day what you drive is yours it's not mine i i you know you may do something that's different than what i do but you you want to be prideful in your end result and we want to strive to give you that end result that you can that you can be proud of and that you can show off and that you can um have confidence in so we we are trying to do the best that we can to to get you to that point 
and we feel like, you know, with, with having our YouTube channel and having all the ways to contact us and, and knowing some of the industry leaders in, you know, injection and turbos and suspension, et cetera, et cetera, I can keep going on on the list that we can take all of that knowledge and put it into stuff like this podcast and on our website to to better to better suit our customers in the in the long run. Yeah, we want to we want to uh, make sure that we cover all the gambits, you know, not just uh not just diesel or not just engine wise, but uh we want to make sure that that you know, we kind of educate on on all of this on the uh, the elect- the electrical side of things, on the interior side of things, on Suspension, all all of that stuff. We uh, what am I looking for here? I'm I'm failing. I'm failing. F for f- I mean fail. I don't know. I don't know the word. Yeah. Well, you know. I'm losing steam. And and now a word from our sponsors. And we're back. He said that a lot for us not having literally any sponsors at all. That's why sponsors why, in the videos a lot. That's uh that's why it's all blank space. Right. We <laughs> we we are sponsoring ourselves, thank you. Boy, that's a really crappy sponsor. I think I could have buy we you'd have thought we could have got better ones than that. Well, I, I'm thinking that we can throw sponsors in there and then they can pay us not to have them in there because they're gonna <laughs> <laughs> So like if you don't want to be a part of this Pay up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Otherwise, you're, uh, you're, uh, yeah, you're. You gotta pay us hush money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, Is this like the reverse mafia? Right. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna advertise you unless you pay us not to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so watch your back. We're, we're coming for somebody. Everybody. Yeah, that's a good person that we could bring on. Um, uh, Dustin. Yeah. No, not Dustin. His. Shorter, more retarded cousin. Alec? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. The one that actually drives the OBS. Oh. And that's another thing. Like, we, most of the industry leaders that we deal with, they have somebody on their staff that has an OBS. So, if we have a question that we can't answer, typically where we source different parts from, they have somebody that has the correct answer because that's what they do and that's where they've come from. I just thought about somebody needs to be on this show in a hurry. The leprechaun. Oh God. You wanna talk about spun up? That dude's hyper. You reckon we could get Devin from OBS Solutions on here? Oh gosh. You think that'd be good? I think he could say an hour's worth of stuff in like two minutes. <laughs> like, Boy. Could you, you say that all again with breathing? <laughs> I'd love to hear how that sounds. Oh, it's it's great. You you hear you ever listen to the, the very last part of any kind of commercial where they give all the yeah. <laughs> Devin's a guy that does that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I think that pretty much covers what uh who we are, what we're about, what we're doing, how we're here, why we're here. We we want to use this podcast a for fun because everybody enjoys stuff like this and and this is a break up of the monotony of the office too. It's, yeah. It's not just the daily drudge of the same old crap every day. We just, uh, we want to do something for fun. So this is something for fun. If you absolutely want to kill five minutes of your time, you can listen to the podcast. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Yes. <laughs> I like my version better. <laughs> YouTube right. doesn't like your version. He's right out of belief. I mean, this, this podcast would be great for when you're pooping. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a good way to kill five minutes. I mean, you're like, I'm already bored sitting still, so. Holy crap. Oh. <laughs> Switching gears a little bit. Wow. Uh, <coughs> hey, thinking of which, we got a fix for your OBS clutch, too. Hey, we do. Hey, we do. We can either fix it with the same old crappy plastic piece, or we can fix it with the hind joint. Mm-hmm. In case you want the same old crappy plastic piece. We got that too. Winning. I mean, the same old crappy plastic piece did last Please? like 15 years. Same old crappy plastic piece. <laughs> it did last like 20 years, so yeah. it is a pretty good part, yeah. But the hive joint's better. Oh, yeah. The hive joint's way better. And you can adjust it. Mm-hmm. That's cool. I think that's something that probably most people don't know is that, uh, that little, you know, you put the bush in, and it's just, that, that's just what you get. But if you put the hive joint on, you can actually, you can adjust the clutch pedal in or out and take up some of the throw. 
And if you let your, your little uh, bushing go out like 10 years ago and you're still riding around on it, you're probably already wore through the pin. Your bushing's not going to help you. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's typically what happens with... Uh, not Far that I know from experience. Farmers do that, don't they? Yes, they do. They uh, they just kind of band-aid things and hey, don't fix them. Hey, you got to do what works to get you done, and then after that, you forget about it. I could see everybody in the Midwest right now de unsubscribing from this. <laughs> they subscribed, and then they got halfway through it and was like, yeah, nope. But if you want to know how to really, really fix the Z05 issue, put an E4OD in it. It'll be done. <laughs> <laughs> you just made everybody's head explode. Yee, yee, woo, I drive a mini Peterbilt. Wait a second, I drive one of those. Well. Well. I do. It's not a mini Peterbilt, though. That's Seth's truck. It's got Cummins in it. Mm. It ain't. I, Another to, to be fair, though, I have not seen Seth drive that truck since he moved here. Well, I mean, you can't break it if it don't run, so. I mean, it is a Cummins, <laughs> so. I mean, I'm still on less blocks than Dylan. Just saying. This is true. This is true. Like on blocks, like oh. in the yard, or like no, it doesn't garage, engine no. blocks. It doesn't have to be on blocks because it's bagged, so it just sits on tire or on the on the frame. Does it actually sit on the frame? In some spots. Do I know what I'm talking about? It it's seesaws. Almost, it's almost there. I'm, okay. Will there be a section in this podcast for the people who have no clue what you're talking about? Yeah, we probably should put that in there. Um, Rustin, do you have any questions? Hence the guy that has no clue what we've talked about this entire time. I, I, I have slight clues. So, so our one listener, Russin, has called in and <laughs> wants to know what the hell we're talking about. We'll try and go in depth on that on episode two. Um, we probably yeah we we should definitely uh, we should definitely go into. We will definitely go into uh, into depth on uh, on some of the more technical things. Kind of try to explain it in a way that's not necessarily uh, like truck people, if you would, like because the the car culture is like the gun culture. Like it's very inward focused. It's very uh, it's so tight knit. It's hard to get into. You know what I mean? And I think that's a, a, a big downfall for the industry as far as like making it larger is everybody always just looks at, well, if you don't know what you're talking about, then you, you know, you're not cool. Don't, don't whatever, you know, don't, you can't be a part of this or I'm, I'm not going to waste my time with you. And that's, that's not at all the way to be because really and truly at the end of the day, we want the car culture or the truck culture or whatever to you grow. want to call it. We want it to grow. We want it to be bigger. It's good for us. Let, let's not, let's not uh, kid ourselves. It's good for us. Uh, economically, but it's also good for, for just everybody in general. We have been quiet on YouTube for quite a while. And most of that reason why is because we did not uh, make the effort because we were so busy with the shop and the growth and the trying to take care of customers and stuff like that, that we didn't, uh, we didn't put the energy into it, if you would. I mean, that's, that's really what it amounts to is we, we didn't say, we're gonna do it. So we made, this is my new year's resolution. We made, we're gonna make the effort to do it this year. Now, that being said, we're gonna have to have some help. So um, yeah, we're recruiting people to. There's a jobs app on the website, use it. There's not enough hours in the day to get everything done. That's why we're filming this right now at two in the morning. <laughs> Probably why we're so retarded right at the moment. So we're, we're looking for we're, we're looking for ways to get more content to the end user that helps them be more educated is our end goal with everything that we do from the website to the podcast to the YouTube stuff um, that is going to be that's always been our, our main goal and that's kind of why we're here today we wanted to tell you we wanted to bring in a podcast so you could get more detailed information without necessarily having to go to YouTube each time, but also to... Don't you lie. We wanted to bring in a podcast so that uh, everybody didn't know that we had a face for radio. Woohoo! Mm. So, now we're on the radio. Yep. Can you call it a radio now since you actually listen to it on your phone? Not exactly. Is that kind of like calling it a record? Can you turn on a set? That, that's kind of like calling it an 
icebox. An icebox. It is an icebox. Do you call it an icebox sometimes? Always Yankees. 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 And we lost this. <laughs> one of the two <laughs> that's Seth because he's the Yankee in the room <laughs> unsubscribe <laughs> oh wait I need, to, this, need, I need this to work <laughs> but as like he said kind of a New Year's resolution for our company too is we, we're wanting we to, want to bring more content to, uh, to, to our, our customers we want to be able to interact more well to this particular culture too exactly but but you, we're, they we're, may not want us to interact with them, <laughs> <laughs> they especially have, after watching this. <laughs> they have no choice now. We are in your head. You will hear my voice tonight. Oh gosh, <laughs> this is going downhill quick. This is going downhill quick, <laughs> like the Titanic. But um, that's very insensitive. Oh. I don't give a damn. I mean, <laughs> um, so so part of this too is is. Uh, Welcome to the home of no safe space. Mm. There was room on that door. I'm just gonna put it out there. She let him. I mean, she she him. let him drown. I mean, there was room on that. There, there, there was two people could have floated. Hey, they could have played checkers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if they'd have sat Indian style, one on either end. Mm-hmm. We have bought a new facility and are going to move. Have we? I mean, did we? Kind I mean, of. I didn't. Was somebody gonna tell me we did this? I mean, the bank said, yeah, and we were like, all right, whatever. <laughs> oh, wow, that was pretty joking. Wow, holy cow. So. <sighs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I you heard can. that. <laughs> 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 little quiet. <laughs> <laughs> So anyways, don't ever do that again. Okay. <laughs> Blame Seth. What? Hey, now. So we've got a new facility where it's kind of under wraps at the moment. Uh, we'll we'll do a, a video on that here soon and, and talk about that a little more. But part of that focus is we're going to try and start keeping more parts. So when you call in, instead of your truck having to be down for a couple of weeks at the time, because most of you are using this as a daily driver. It's not just a play toy. And we're going to. Well, even if it is a play toy, nobody wants to wait. Nobody wants to wait on their parts, and I don't. I don't like waiting on my parts. So one of the biggest hurdles we had in 2020 was was inventory um, due to COVID and um, among other things, and and keeping keeping a back backlog on stuff. Now we'll have a place where we can actually store some inventory and and have it on hand. So when you call in and you have a question, and we actually are able to answer the question and and get you into the right product you need for your truck, it should be able to go out within 24 hours of you ordering it so you can get your truck back or upgraded or whatever you're trying to do. And so... Yeah, instead of waiting two weeks on something simple. Yeah, we're, we're, we're working towards an end goal of that. And that's that's part of this, this podcast is we're trying to help with all of that. And, you know, we're, we're going to take questions from you on... on you know, what stuff that you would like to see us have and what's some new inventory that we should keep, things like that. So what little bit of seriousness we actually do have. We don't really have any. I love the fact that Paul's being a serious one right now. It's so backwards. Yeah. So backwards. Yeah, but for real though, we are uh it, what what did what did uh, Lucas Botkin say uh, from T Rex Arms? The ultimate flex in 2020 was to be able to actually supply parts to the customer. I mean, really and truly, and that's with everything, including toilet paper. Uh huh. Maybe we should have sold toilet paper in 2020. We're Seth. Uh, I'm going to ask you a question now. Oh, Ooh, God. this is fun. I like oh, this part. No. Yeah. So we're going to be on what podcast platforms? All of them. All of them? Every single one. Well, please elaborate on what those are. So, for the people, it, like a while ago, for, for us uh, podcast idiots, like, like uh, you know, the people that don't know anything about truck parts. I don't know anything about podcasts. We probably should have started with where we're going to be, so. Well, you'd be able to hit us on, like, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, uh, Disappearing. Ch- check us out on the Dave Ramsey Show. Uh, probably not that. <laughs> 
<laughs> Dave, throw us a bone, man. Uh, Google. Apple. I feel like I put you on the spot here. You said yeah. Google and Apple already. Yeah, I know. You do. I don't have We're going to be on there twice. Where's my list? <laughs> you, uh, I, I didn't write you one. Spotify, you know, basically anywhere you, you listen to a podcast, we will likely be there. Unless you pay us fifteen ninety nine a month. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming into your home. Imagine that. We're sitting at your dinner table now. It's actually my own dinner table. Oh. There's no food. I'm hungry. Donuts next time. Or Danielle can cook. I thought you were taking us out to dinner after this. No. Nope. I, I am? Rustin's yeah, taking you, you out. No, you are. So uh so how does the uh how does the, the OBS truck lover that is gen- genuinely interested get a truck when they can't afford a truck? <laughs> <laughs> well, well that's that's back. actually um that's that's kind of something that uh that I think we should do a podcast on is uh is these trucks that are for sale on on uh Facebook Marketplace or on Craigslist or whatever that are probably a truck that that you could afford to buy maybe some of the things to look at on one of those trucks if you go to look at it you know go look at buying it if it's listed for four or five thousand dollars which is a pretty good price for one of those trucks uh these days um what to look at and to know that is this a, a simple fix or is it a more complicated fix and should i just walk away from it well and, and what to look at when you're going to buy like what are the first things you do not just roll up and go oh it looks great and not actually go in depth on what you're what you're needing for that particular truck or what that truck may need, because you don't want to spend five thousand dollars on something that's going to leave you stranded in a week. I mean, at the end of the day, the probably the best uh, the best way to, to buy one of those trucks, um, if you if you're you know working with a limited budget, would be to to buy one from Facebook or to buy one from a local classified ad or something like that. But um, you know, that's definitely something that I think we could go in depth on. We've got plenty of experience in that as far as like what to look at, what to what to walk away from, what uh, what are some of the more problematic areas of these things that we should uh, uh, that, that you should that you should consider when you're going to look at it. You know, because a lot of people will go look at a truck and it'll have a little something that they think is a major issue. It may not be. So yeah, I, I definitely think that's a, a pretty good idea. Yeah. Or you yeah. think it's a little issue and it's a huge issue. Yeah, you you know, like absolutely. Three transmissions later, my truck goes in reverse now. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I did. I mean, he that was like a he that was definitely a real life experience. Yeah. The guy he bought the truck from total asshole. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's lost Dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> He happens to be in this room. Rustin, why'd you sell him a <laughs> shitty truck? Hey, it's not crappy anymore. He's trying to buy it from me. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's a it's great. great. It's buy great. it. It's great. <laughs> Give him more than what he's asking for it. Yeah. Um. And cut. So that's good. That's Anyways, good. we have no idea what we're doing, and we're going to keep doing it. So stay tuned for more episodes. Bye, guys. And the gals. And there's a, no, there, are, amen, there amen. are no women watching this. <laughs> amen and a woman. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Amendment and a woman dement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>